Rapping the food chain, rapping with the rat tail, king sanitation, covered at the trap mail, murderous assassins are rapping the black... Yo guys, what is going on? Tim Purcell, welcome back to another video on the channel. So, in today's video I'll be teaching you guys how to make a cool mascot intro or logo intro over in After Effects. I did a video on it yesterday, a speed art, and you guys asked me uh, to make a video on how I did it. So today I'll be showing you guys some cool animations and tips and tricks over in After Effects. Um, for beginners, you guys will um, like be able to understand it as well. It's very simple. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, hit the like button down below, subscribe if you are new, comment down below what video you'd like to see from me next. I'm always reading the comments, guys. And yeah, the support, guys, has been amazing. Just keep it up and yeah hope you enjoy it and let's get right into it right guys so we're here in um, after effects so the first thing well basically this is like what I'll be showing you how to make if you saw my last video this is basically what was in it and it's um really simple really easy to do and I know it's all pixelated now but basically you're gonna have like well, for my mascot, you had a top, middle, and bottom part. So basically, you want to go over to Illustrator or Photoshop and um, split it into three parts. So I've got like the hair as one part, and then you've got the face as the middle part, and then the helmet as the top part. And then I've also like I also you don't have to do this, but I also split the eyes so that I basically lowered the opacity and then like put it back to a hundred opacity. And then you've also got the um, little shine effect on the helmet, if I zoom out, that's another aspect to it. And then I also added a transition, so basically like the dark purple background splits open to a white background and then you've got the text at the end. So it's like really, really like simple to do, it's just like, if you just watch this tutorial it's just very simple to do, it's like nothing hard, it's just positioning and scaling and then just one simple shine effect. So it's very simple to do guys, and yeah, let's just get right into it. So the first thing you wanna do is just go over to File and New, and then New Project. Then you wanna to go to New Composition. Make sure, well, you can either have 1920 by 1080 or 128 by 720, and that's what I'm gonna do, 128 by 720 with 30 frames frame rate. Then you wanna to go to File, Import, and you want to import the file um, from either Photoshop or Illustrator. So mine's from Photoshop, so I just want to need to, well, I need to go to um, my file, so I'm just going to try and find it. Timper's mascot file. And then you want to make sure it's composition retain layer sizes. And then just double click on it. And then as you can see, that is what it looks like. And you can see it's got a purple outline. So I'm going to make the background purple and that's what you want to do the same. So you want to make sure whatever the outline color is, you want to make sure that that's the background. So um, you just want to go to the square tool, go to fill, go to the eyedropper tool and then click the outline. Then press control minus to zoom out, make a square to fill in the background and then bring it down to the bottom like so. So now you can't actually see the outline, which is good because um, when you do, in Photoshop or Illustrator, when you do split your mascot into three separate parts, it looks pretty weird. Because if I just like click on the bottom and then move that and then get rid of that outline, um, you can't really see it, but there's some really weird cuts. Like it looks pretty weird. As, as you can see, it's just all cut like over here. And you don't want to be able to see that at the moment. So basically, I'll just go back. Having that purple background just removes that and it just all looks very clean. So basically, I'm just gonna show you some simple stuff. So um, we're gonna start off with the face. We're gonna animate the face. So we're gonna, gonna get rid of the bottom, the top and the left and right eye. So you've just got the face in the middle and I'm just gonna make that simply just fade in. So. Basically, you want to go on this little arrow, go to transform, and then we're going to go to where we want it to end. So, about two seconds, in, in fact, about one second in, we want it to finish there. So, we want the, the, uh, the face to finish there. So, you want to go to opacity, click the keyframe, and then go back to the start, and then bring it down to zero because you want it to start off 
with no opacity and then obviously now it will just fade in like that so we're just going to highlight them keyframe assistant easy ease and basically that just smoothens everything out so it's not so sudden so it kind of like it just, just looks really smooth and you can do other things like move the position so maybe um, we want it to finish there so we're going to add a position keyframe we want it to finish right in the middle so we've added a keyframe and then at the start maybe you want it to be down at the bottom or something so we're going to use arrow keys on the keyboard and bring it down so as you can see now it starts down there and then goes up and that looks really cool so we're going to go to keyframe assistant easy ease to smoothen it out and then uh, we're going to hide in fact no we can keep that there so once I did that I went to bottom and now I'm going to animate the bottom part so for the bottom we're going to move it over so it does that a few seconds well, like one second after we want to make the the beard come in so we're going to go to position add a keyframe and then when this animation stops we're going to move this maybe down there off the screen and then I'm gonna easy ease it keyframe assistant easy ease and as you can see the beard just comes in out of nowhere so it's really simple I'm not gonna actually animate the helmet the helmet was just simple I just like started it up there position and then brought it straight down really easy and then for the eyes all I did was just like I did with the face I just changed the opacity so it started off at zero and then it faded in so it looked like that I'm going to show you something really cool now so we're going to add a transition to the background so we're going to go over to the rectangle tool um, we're going to make it white oh no Need to I'm just going to click off that rectangle because it was just changing the settings for that so we'll make another rectangle and we're going to bring that to the very bottom like so so the next thing we're going to add a transition to the purple one which is shape layer 1 we're going to go to effect transition and then you got a load of different transitions and I think if I'm right I think yeah it was Jaws Jaws so now we've got a Jaws transition placed on it and then if you click the arrow down go to trans uh, not transform effects and then the CC jaws you want as you can see it says completion so at the minute it's zero so if we just move it along a second to where we want it to finish make it 100 and then add a keyframe then go back to where it started and then make it zero so it starts off so it's like nothing and then it completes at this point here so it's really simple but as you can see it's got all them lines so at this point to get rid of all them lines you basically want to go to file import file and you want to import the actual image of your mascot that hasn't been cut up on Photoshop and you want to make sure that's right at the top Just click off everything I need to do that again file import Make sure you're not clicked on anything, it's just nothing selected. Import the Viking, bring it in to the very top. And then once once the transition is done, about here, we're gonna bring all of these over to here to this point. So you, this is where everything else disappears and you've just got the Viking mascot itself. I could have just highlighted everything and did it that way but oh well so at this point right here all of the separate um, images have disappeared and have just gone and then you've got the actual Viking mascot itself and then the transition happens so yeah it's pretty simple stuff um, if you want to see some more different um, transitions and animations just um, comment down below and I will make a video on it but yeah it's just simple the opacity um, positioning rotations it's all really simple to do um, oh yeah also the shine on the helmet 
I'll show you guys how to do that really quickly. You just want to go to top. Um, yeah, top. Then go to effect and what was it? One sec. Scroll down to it. You want to go to effects and presets, and I think it's called light swipe. Uh, light. Um, light CC light sweep bring that to the top and then basically as you can see if you grab and zoom in this little point right here that's the shine so you want it to start over here and then come across like that start up there um, add a add, wait go to the top effects CC light sweep um, and then you want to make a keyframe where you want it to start where you want it to finish move it across so it starts there bring it down there and then it, it adds another keyframe and then if you highlight that right click keyframe assistant easy use so it starts down there and goes across it's just a little shine I added it to the helmet because obviously helmets are made out of metal so I could have done it over the whole mascot and you guys can too that would have looked good as well but I just did it over the helmet so yeah, that's pretty easy as well. It's all about keyframing, where you want it to start, where you want it to finish. And yeah, uh, if you guys want to see some more transitions, animations and stuff like that, let me know in the comments down below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you are new. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys are having a sick day today and I'll see you in the next video.